Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is day 14 of our daily UI series. Today's task is to create a countdown timer, and we're going to be doing this live today. So I'm going to be making a hit timer, which is a workout timer, and it's going to be very minimal. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is paste in a status bar. And uh, one thing to mention, I already have my color scheme imported into XD. We're going to be using a light green, a light red, and some grays. So I'm going to make a little bar behind this, so remove the border on that, and I'm going to apply a lighter gray so we have something to separate that from the white background. All right, so for our text, I'm going to say 29 is the number we're going to have this image at, and let's set this to about, let's see, it's probably 60 would be a good size, 65, oops, that's 5. 65, we'll go with that. And I'm gonna go with this grayish color. And this is gonna be Mr. Eves. And I'm gonna center this up. For now, we might bump that up later. I'm actually gonna increase that to, let's go like 70 or 80. Make sure that's center aligned in case we have to change the numbers. And then I'm gonna say low interval below that. Change the font to match. And we'll leave that at 20. And let's also change it to this color right here as well. I'm going to drag that up around there. And below that, I kind of want the sets that we're on. So in hit, you do multiple sets. So you do a low intensity and then high intensity. And then you go into another low intensity into a high intensity. So let's say we're like on 4 of 12, if I can type correctly. Change the font, and let's drop this down to about 16, so it's a little smaller. I'm going to match these colors, but then I'm going to drop the opacity, which is the lazy way of getting a different shade of gray. And I'm just going to put that right below there. So we have something like that. And I'm going to bump these two, like 10 down, so we have some spacing there. And so this is going to be kind of a given. It's going to be uh, when the user's in the settings, they're going to know this is seconds. So there's no need for an S or putting seconds anywhere. And I'm actually going to put this somewhere around there 125 would be nice somewhere where it's in the top center of the screen alright so down here we're gonna have three buttons we're gonna have probably a pause button a close button and maybe a lock icon um, so that if you have the uh, phone in your pocket you don't wanna like stop the timer by accident while you're running or doing whatever so we're gonna be able to lock that so you can't stop this unless you press that little tiny lock icon. So uh, let's do the wave kind of thing we're going to do first. So the idea is that the waves are going to kind of um, decrease on the screen, so that's going to drain like a tank. So let's create that. Um, start off, we'll go something like that, holding shift, and we'll do a, a higher up one. Actually, let's go low. Right there. And we'll go back up. And then I'm just going to kind of complete this. And then I'm going to fill that in with a green color. And then I'm going to drop the opacity on this down to around 20. I don't like how this is so high, so I'm going to adjust this by just scaling it out a bit. So we have something like that. I'm going to copy this and paste it. I'm just going to flip it around. Position that where I want it. And then I'm going to drop this down to make those a bit flatter. Something like that. And then the top one, I'm going to increase the opacity to 60% so we have something like that. I'm going to play at these points as well. Just to make them a bit more different. Put that one somewhere like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Alright, so down at the bottom, I want to have a pause button. Make that white. And let's go with uh, 30 font. Nope, too big. Let's try 26. And then change that. I'm going to center that up and I'm going to put it about 20 pixels from the bottom. 
That looks good. All right, so I'm going to drag in two icons, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have my two icons. Let's just drag them over if I can click on them. And I think we're going to leave the size about that small, maybe just a slightly bit larger. And I'm going to, since they're SVGs, I can edit these and change the color on them. So I'm going to do that. Let's match the white color, the pause button. And the close button I'm going to put in the bottom left corner. And the lock icon I'm going to put in the bottom right corner. And let's put that 10, 20, 30, 40 from the side. I'm gonna match all these centered. And then I'm gonna push this one over. 10, 20, 30, 40. There we go. All right, so I want to adjust the waves just slightly. I'm not liking the look of these. All right, so on this one, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. And then on this, I want this to kind of be just a little bit more shallow. And then on the back one, I'm going to kind of center that with that dip. And then on this, I'm going to drop this pretty low. So it's something like that. I think that looks really good. Maybe just adjust this to where it comes over to like right there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to do the high interval next. So we're just going to copy this. And let's change this to about 34 just so we have a difference in the size of the water. And I'm going to bring them up just a little bit. And I'm also just going to lengthen them so the waves are a little bit different shape. And so like if here's the half point, we're just below that, and then here we're slightly above it so that we're at 34. Let's change this to a high interval. I need to center that. I'm going to do that over here as well, just so we have everything nice and consistent. All right, and for this, I already have my red color picked out, and all I have to do is change those. Okay. And then we can also adjust the waves as well. I'm also going to change the set number so that we're progressing. So now we're on six. And let's make these just a bit different. All right, so I probably just sped that up. There was a lot of adjusting that I wanted to do on these waves. I didn't think they looked um, very well. I'm gonna bump these up really quickly. Just a bit higher. And I'm also going to increase the height like we did before. There we go. Okay, so now we have a low interval at around 29 seconds and a high interval at 34 seconds. So that is my countdown timer completed. I'm going to show you the final product now. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you. And the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.